Spotfire gives you the ability to take data from multiple different sources, bring them in as data tables, and then combine them for a single interactive analysis. This is all done through the Spotfire data canvas. Now there's three ways to combine your data. You can use add columns for joining your data. You can use add rows for stacking your data, and you can relate your data by keeping them in separate data tables, but just linking them together. So let's go through these three options. Here in Spotfire, I have two different data tables. I have sales reps and I have deals. Now the sales rep table is a small table that shows Dan, Nora, Nico, Gaia, and Neil in the region that they're in. The deals table shows the closed deals for Dan, Nico, Nora, and Steven, the customer they did the deal with and the amount of the deal. And now I wanna bring these together. So let's talk a bit about joins. These are the major types of joins you'll use when bringing together different data tables that may have different columns. The table A is the, considered the left table and the table B is considered the right table. Now table A is what you're joining to and table B is what you're joining from and there's different intersection methods. So for instance, a left outer join is gonna use all the data from the sales reps table and whatever data it can match with the deals table. Now every join needs to have at least one column that matches between the two tables. Here, the name column matches, so you'll see that as a matched column. And we have Dan, Nora, Nico, Gaia, and Neil shown in each of these rows. However, there are two deals for Dan, so a new row has been created with Dan that does wacky wheels and toys for you. So Dan is in the left table, and we can join that with the right table. Now Gaia and Neil are in the left table, but there are no deals for Gaia and Neil on the right table, therefore they're brought in as nulls. Next, let's look at an inner join. Now with an inner join, you're less likely to have null values. However, you're more likely to have a smaller data set because you're only getting the intersection between the two tables. So here we don't see Neil and Gaia as extra rows and we don't see their null values because Neil and Gaia are not in the right table. So the intersection between the two is Dan, Nico, and Nora, which are the only names that are in both tables. Now with the full outer join, you're more likely to have null values. However, you get to keep the data from both tables. So here you'll see Gaia and Neil are shown with the null values similar to the left join, but we also have Steven brought over from the right table. And then there's a null value for region because since Steven is not in the table that shows region, we don't know what region Steven's in. And lastly, you have the right outer join, which is similar to the left join, except you're using the right table, table B, to join to, and you're joining from table A, the left table. Now let's take a look in the Spotfire data canvas how this works. I can add columns between any two nodes on my data canvas. Here I'll go to other, and I'll grab the deals table, which I'm going to join to the sales reps table. I can go to add columns, and you'll see that Spotfire has automatically matched the name column from both data sets. I can change these if I'd like, and I can add additional matches if I have additional columns that match in Spotfire. I don't in this case. Here's a preview where we have the left table and the right table, and in dark blue, I have the uh, column that is the match column. Now in my join settings, I can change this from the left outer join, the full outer join, inner join, and I can get a preview of the these different join outcomes. I can also choose which columns from the new data set, from the right data set, that I want to add into Spotfire. So here I can select the columns to be joined into the sales, uh, the sales rep data table. So I'll hit OK here and hit OK. And now Spotfire has added these columns. And I can see from this data set, which is the deals table, and this data set, which is the sales reps table, that's combined to give me the total data set. Now this is when I have separate data tables and want to merge them together into a single data table. And that's beneficial when I want the most visual flexibility. However, the downside is you can see here that Dan and his region have been duplicated across these rows in that join. Now that can be really detrimental when you have really large data sets and all that duplication can really expand the size of the data in your analysis. So an alternative is to keep the data tables separate and relate them. So to do this, I'm first gonna undo this join by removing this, add columns. And in Spotfire, I'm gonna go here to my data panel and I'm gonna select name. Now in these recommendations, I see that Spotfire has found that another data table has a column name and has recommended that I link these together. So I'll click this to link them together. Now let's take a view as, at these two different data tables. I'll create two different table visualizations, one's for sales rep and the other one's for deals. 
Now, when I select Dan in one table, it's gonna mark all the associated rows in the other table. When I click Nora, it'll do the same. And when I click Neil, nothing's gonna happen because there is no Neil in this data table. Now, this isn't just for markings. You can use filtering as well. So here in my filtering panel, I now have this icon for filtering related data tables. And if I click this, I can choose to include filtered rows only. Now, this will allow me to select Dan in one filter and filter out Dan in one table, and it'll also filter out Dan in both tables. To manage these relationships, you can go to Data and Data Table Properties. You can see all the data tables in your analysis. You go to Relations and Manage Relations, and here you can choose the match columns, and you can select the left and right table and the matches, just like you would with the join. Now the next thing to show is how to stack different data that has the same columns or similar columns. Here I have sales in Seattle and I have all of these various columns. So I'm gonna add data from my local drive and I'm gonna bring in these different cities. I'm gonna do Boston, Los Angeles, and New York and I'm gonna add them all together at the same time. So I get a quick preview here. I'm gonna just hit okay through these and Spotfire has automatically recognized that these, these data tables have the same columns as my Seattle sales data table and has recommended that I just stack them together. So let's take a preview at what this looks like. Now here we see that all the columns between the original data and the new data have been matched. So store numbers matching to store number, et cetera, all the way down. And we can see here the new data in dark blue and the old data, the original data in light blue and the origin being Seattle sales and then the Boston sales table. Now, if I took out one of these matches, you'll see that Spotfire creates another customer ID column for the new data set and doesn't line it up with the customer ID column of the original data set. So I have that option with matches, especially if they have different names and I do in fact wanna put them together. So here they have the same name, I'll keep them together. If there were additional columns that weren't matched, you can choose if you wanna include or exclude those. And here for origin of rows, we can see that Spotfire's automatically created a column origin of data, and it has the Seattle sales and Boston sales CSV. Now I can actually change this to say region if I'd like. And for my original rows, I'll name the region Seattle. And for my new rows, I'll name it Boston. And I'll hit okay. And now these need to be corrected for those changes. So I'll go ahead and what error is, is that I don't have a column here, so I need to use the region column, and I just need to name this Los Angeles. Now I went ahead and just did that for New York as well. I'll hit OK, and we'll see in the Spotfire data canvas, it's automatically added all of these rows. And now when I create a visualization, I can go to, let's say, a bar chart, and if I want to look at the row count of the different sales in these regions, it's automatically found the regions as the different four data tables. Now you can continue going on and design your dashboards with all of these multiple data sources. If you're joining columns, remember you can continue to join as much as you want. You can bring as many sources as you like together into a single data table.